Hungarian Folk Tales The Little Pig and the Wolves Once upon a time, there was a little pig who lived in a little house in the middle of a vast forest. The little pig was cooking supper one day when a scruffy wolf knocked on his door. Little pig, let me in. It's so cold out here, I'll freeze to death. No, I won't let you in because you'll eat me up. Just let my back leg in or I'll freeze to death. The little pig put a big pot of water to boil on the fire and then he let the wolf's back leg into the house. Oh, little pig, please let my other back leg in too. Little pig, please let my two front feet in now. The little pig let the wolf's two front feet in, but the scruffy wolf still wasn't happy. <laughs> little pig, please let all of me in, and I promise I won't hurt a hair on your head. The little pig found a sack and held it open so that the wolf would walk right into it. And that's what he did. The little pig wasted no time and tied the sack up in a flash. Then he took the pot off the fire and poured boiling water all over the wolf. The steaming hot water made the wolf shout and he wriggled and jiggled until he pushed the sack open. The bold, scolded wolf jumped out of the sack and saw the little pig sitting at the top of the tree. And the wolf ran off to find help. scolded wolf eventually returned with the other wolves. The wolves thought and thought about how they would catch the little pig as none of them could climb a tree. At long last they decided to stand on one another's shoulders until they reached the little pig. The wolves climbed quickly one on top of the other. The bold, scolded wolf stayed at the bottom because he was afraid of heights, so the others all climbed on top of him. The tower of wolves reached up to the sky until they only needed one more wolf on the top.
The last wolf started to climb. And the little pig shouted, Pour hot water on the bold one! The bold, scolded wolf leapt out from the bottom of the pile and ran as fast as his legs could carry him. The wolves tumbled to the ground in a heap of furry bones. Then all the little piglet had to do was to jump down from the tree and go back into his little house. And the bad wolves never dared come near again.